Hello dear friends, in this trick number 174, today I am going to tell you one of the most amazing methods to find the square roots of numbers which are obviously not perfect squares. So under root 51, the only method taught at school level is the long division method which the students are afraid of and studies have shown that 80% of the students of class 10th, 11th and 12th get confused while finding the square roots of numbers which are not perfect squares by long division method. So some examples I have already uh, written here on the board just like under root 51 I have already calculated the square root for you this is 7.14. Uh, under root 68 8.246 and likewise I have three more examples here under root 84 under root 104 under root 172 so we need to do it through a method other than the long division method wherein we make pairs and then carry on with the procedure now in this method the shortcut to find the square root of 51 now we will try and obtain the square root of 51 by some other method and mind you this method will give you an approximate value of the square root this is the exact value and our answer through shortcut will be very near to this value which will not make any significant difference in the answers you are trying to get so just see square root of 51 now we need to know which natural number is a perfect square below just below 51 which natural number is a perfect square just below this number 51 so we have 49 as 7th square so we know that square root of 49 is 7 so this gives the first part of our answer the whole number which is before the decimal place 7 this is obtained by just finding out the largest perfect square number below this number 51 so one part of the answer is already obtained now come to the part after decimal now after decimal just see the difference of this number in the square root 51 and this number in the square root 49 the difference is 2 so what you do is for the second part just write to this difference and the first part which we have obtained is 7 so just double this part you will get 14 so now you have a fraction 2 upon 14 which can be reduced to 1 upon 7 and now if you divide 1 by 7 you may get the second part of our answer see division of 1 by 7 so 0 0.1 and 4 so we have the part which is after decimal this is 0 0.14 so just write these two together you will get your required answer 7.14 very easy method and through this method students will have one more method up their sleeves in case they have very less time in examination and they want to find out the approximate value of a square root they can make use of this method to understand this method in a better way let us do one more question say we have square root of 68 now the exact value of this square root is 8.246 now let us try and obtain this so which number below 68 is a perfect square we have root 64 we have root 64 as 8 so our first part is obtained 8 and now take the difference of 68 and 64 this will give you 4 so other part of the answer is 4 upon double of this 16 so you have 1 upon 4 which is 0 0.25 so this gives you 8 and 
square root of 68 obtained is 8.25 which is very near to the perfect answer 8.246 see if you round up round this off to two decimal places you will get 8.25 which is the answer which we have got through this method let us practice this method now for two three more numbers now we will reduce the number of steps and try to practice this in lesser number of steps see here we have root 84 now the square root of 84 is 9.165 and now we will do it through the shortcut and we will try to use less number of steps now see what is the number below 84 which is a perfect square root 81 that is 9 so this is the first part and difference is 3 84 minus 81 and double of 9 is 18 so this gives you 1 by 6 so if you divide 1 by 6 you get 0 point so 10 divided by 6 so you get 1 you are left with 40 so 6 6 uh, 36 and again 40 so again 6 so the final answer you get is 9.166 which is what is the approximate value very close just a difference of 0 0.001 which is very negligible likewise you have under root 104 c square root of 100 is 10 and the difference is 4 10 double of 10 is 20 so 1 by 5 that is 0 0.2 so what is your answer 10 and 0 0.2 10 0.2 and if you round this off you will get 10.2 itself under root 172, under root 169 is 13. So you get the first part. What is the difference? Difference is 3 and the double of 13 that is 26. So just divide 3 by 26. You get 0 0.140, 0. again 1, 26. So 0 0.11 is approximate value. So you get 13 and 0 0.11, 13.11 which is what we have obtained through the traditional method. So you see a small calculation and you get rid of the traditional long division method which sounds little bit scary and consumes more time than this method. A very very effective method for competitive exams wherein you need to quickly find the approximate value of a non-perfect square number and also for students of junior classes who are beginning to learn square roots they can verify the results they have obtained through long division method through this method so that they can tell you whether the answer they have obtained is correct or not so learn these methods and use them in competitive exams for success so keep learning keep sharing and subscribe the channel if you like it